Today's lecture is on atrial septal defect, or ASD. Now, an atrial septal defect is a congenital heart defect in which blood flows between the atria of the heart. Now, typically, blood in the heart flows from the superior and inferior vena cava into the right atria, right ventricle, into the pulmonary arteries through the pulmonary circulation, back in through the pulmonary veins to the left atria, left ventricle, and into the aorta through systemic circulation. The atria and ventricles are typically separated by their respective septa. However, in atrial septal defect, there is a defect in the atrial septum, which allows left to right shunting of blood. Now, this is typically due to a patent foramen ovale, and the foramen ovale is an embryonic structure which allows shunting of blood. However, in an atrial septal defect, this is continuing and is normally associated with Down syndrome and fetal alcohol syndrome. Now, the problem with left to right shunting of the blood in the atria is that you allow the richly oxygenated blood here in the left atrium to pour into the right atrium. So poorly oxygenated blood is actually flowing through the system and is putting a lot more pressure on the right ventricle. So some clinical presentations that are typical are fatigue, frequent respiratory infections, children may be asymptomatic at youth, and there's an increased blood flow through the pulmonary valve here. Upon auscultation, you'll hear a loud S1 sound and a wide fixed split S2 sound. Now, if an atrial septal defect continues throughout life, this can lead to pulmonary hypertension because of the added amount of blood which is being shunted from left to right. You're putting a lot more stress here on the right ventricle. So as time goes on, the right ventricle has to work harder to get this excess amount of blood out and these muscles will actually hypertense. Also, the right ventricular hypertrophy will come along with that. The muscles will get thicker and denser as they work harder to make up for the hypertension and increased pressure. If it gets bad enough and there's enough blood backing up here in the right ventricle back into the right atria, there may actually be a reverse of left to right shunting to right to left shunting. Now, this must be corrected with surgery, which typically is done in a mode like this, as we see in this other diagram, called the patch closure of atrial septal defect. Now, essentially in a patch closure, a small catheter is in place in the femoral vein, and it goes all the way up into the inferior vena cava and is guided from the right atrium into the left atrium. A small disc, which is shown here in orange, is inflated and pulled back to close the septal defect. 